Hello. My name's Jazz. I'm in the beautiful land of the Darug and Gundangara, whose sovereignty of this place was never ceded, uh, as it was never ceded in any of the nations in the place that we now call Australia. So, my name's Jazz. Uh, amongst other things, I write poetry, and I wanted to take you today through an activity that I do from time to time to help unlock like an inspiration or or if I'm feeling a bit blocked, um, this helps me start writing. So, uh, you're going to need something to write with, something to take notes with, that can be whatever works for you, a phone, um, a laptop, you could make voice memos, I am going to use pencil and paper. Um, and you can go anywhere that works for you to do this activity. You don't need to stay in the house. Um, I was going to go for a walk, but it is very cold and windy outside. Um, so I'm staying put. Uh, this activity is just really quite meditative and simple. So you can do it anywhere. Um, and it's just about orienting and grounding yourself in the place you're in. So to begin, just... Um, just close your eyes and take some breaths and begin to observe the place that you're in without using your sight. So what can you hear? What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you feel? What's the textures of the fabric on your skin? Um, I can hear the wind outside. I can hear some birds. I can hear the dog in the next room. There's a hum that comes from being indoors. Uh, so take a moment and find those things in your space and make a note of them. Um, they don't have to be complex, they can be as elaborate as you want, long sentences or short dot points, whatever you need to construct the space. Um, and the next step is some time travel. So uh, using this room as an example or, or the space that you're in, um, try and remember or imagine how it felt to wake up here this morning um, and make a note of that. Or maybe that doesn't inspire you or pull you in, so try and imagine the last time you shared the space with someone significant to you, a friend or a lover, um, or maybe you can travel back much further than that. Maybe you're in your childhood home. Maybe you can imagine how it felt to move in uh, for your parents or your grandparents and see if you can make notes on the page of the ways that it, the senses become alive when you inhabit that. I personally really like to use this technique to orient myself on country. Um, as a Wiradjuri woman living off country, I try to recall the places that my ancestors inhabited um, and the places that they still walk and to see how I can put that on the page, how I can put myself in that space and recreate those histories in my own imaginings. Um, obviously, you don't need to orient yourself in Australia if you're not from this place. If yours is a migrant or a diaspora history, try and travel with your ancestors to those places. Um, choose a, a place or a time and make notes of all the things that they felt smell sore. In the interest of keeping this short, I'm going to stop it there, um, but please keep going with this activity. There are so many rooms you can walk into. Um, experiment with form on the page and the way that maybe you would want a reader to encounter these sensory moments. Um, and yeah, see where it takes you. So thank you, Mandanguru. Um, have a beautiful day.